Welcome back to Daily Wrap. It's happy time, people. It's time for yay or nay. First up, Democrats have gone from declaring war on traditional marriage to declaring war on the words used to describe traditional marriage, like husband and wife, in favor of more gender-neutral words, like spouse. Over two dozen Democrats, led by California Representative Lois Capps, are pushing to pass the Amend the Code for Marriage Equality Act, which will make the language and federal regulations and laws more gender neutral following the legalization of same-sex marriage. But Ms. Capps says this new legislation isn't just for same-sex couples. For example, she also says while it is a federal crime to threaten the president's wife, there's nothing in the law about threatening the president's husband. Gender neutral laws, yay or nay? Unger, you're from California. Well, she's kind of got a point, although I, I do have a problem with what the setup there. There was never a democratic war against marriage. Okay, fair enough, but still, so you're yay? You're, yeah, you're going to call your, your wife point. a she's spouse a from point. now on? No, okay. I'll call her my wife and she'll call me your husband, and I'm fine with that. Okay, very good. No. Yeah, uh, I totally agree with uh, Rick Unger. This is the law of the land at this point. You really can't be discriminatory on a, uh, on a federal form. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yes, I think there's no problem with amending the uh, the forms to reflect the nature of the law and not exclude anybody. But uh, at the same time, yeah, I don't think that's going to change anybody's. Uh, from no, calling, you're probably not going to lose a lot of sleep. I'm over gonna this. Gonna wife, wife, yeah. and, uh, she'll she'll I'm going to still call my wife my wife, and she'll hopefully she'll call me all the things that she normally yes, calls. Right. Right. We can't talk about the guy that. I beat on verbally. I'm yes. going <laughs> to say nay because so if it, it if it's on a form and it's a same sex marriage, what is wrong with husband and husband or wife and wife? It's what? Why shouldn't it stay that way? That's a great point. Well, no, but she's talking about in the context of a law, not on a form they're going to change the things in the law so it says spouse because you're not going to say in the law husband 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 wife wife husband wife wife you know why do you think they went with spouse well, they should right. have a partner maybe well, right no, spouse does sum it up no matter what i guess you see that yes but i don't really care that much but you know i can <laughs> see that you know. yeah this is not the, <laughs> the highest sure priority yeah. all right let's but move on while we're on the topic of marriage in an interview on monday rick santorum attacked governor scott walker's wife fearing she may make walker lose focus on the issue of gay marriage we're not joking. Walker's wife, Tonette, has publicly disapproved of her husband's stance on same-sex marriage. And according to Santorum, when couples aren't in sync on cultural moral issues, you tend to lose focus on them. Do you think Walker will back off of same-sex marriage because of his wife slash spouse slash partner? He already did. Rick! That's an easy yay because he did and his kids also complained. So I don't think Walker's the issue here for once. Uh, oh, Santorum needs to keep his mouth shut. It's none yeah, of his business yeah. what uh, what what uh, Walker and his wife do. Do you, do you agree with the, the premise though that you know if, if a couple disagrees on something, you lose focus on it? If anything, I think I gain more. You probably focus. gain more. <laughs> yeah, precisely. No, this is a really bizarre comment from uh, Rick Santorum. It feels like a, a reach to uh, to to recapture some of that lost yeah, glory from 2012. <laughs> yeah, and Tanette up. Walker has a lot of star power. Um, she was really quite impressive during his rollout. Uh, she's been impressive. She's she along with her, her two kids are going to be a real force on the campaign trail for Scott Walker. So uh, Rick Santorum uh, s probably knows that and is trying to deflate that a little bit. Okay, Lisa? I, I think that's a problem for anyone if if they can't uh, stay with what they, what, they, what they believe in, if they can be so easily influenced, even if it is your spouse. If you have your positions, your stand, uh, if you can't stay with that, then... On the, on the other side, Rick Santorum just got more media coverage in the past two okay. minutes than <laughs> he's gotten during the whole campaign. Yeah. So. A happy life is a happy wife. That's the <laughs> motto in Wyckoff, New Jersey. Anyway, finally, tonight, have you heard of shadow tasking? It's when you conduct business at work during your personal time and personal business during work time. And with the line blurring between work and personal hours, shadow tasking is becoming more and more common, especially among millennials. A new survey from Mobile Iron finds that 64% of millennials handle at least one work-related task during personal hours and 82 percent, you're following along, handle at least <laughs> one personal related task during work hours, with two-thirds of millennials feeling guilty in both cases. However, 60 percent of millennial workers said if their boss prevented them from using a mobile device to take care of personal tasks at work, they would quit. Is it time to bring back the 40-hour work week? <laughs> Yay or nay, quickly. What was that, Joe? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Noah? Yes, we need the uh, the golden watch and the retirement oh. at uh, 60 back. <laughs> what was the name of the service? Iron <laughs> Yeah, right. If they say it, it must be true. So. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thank you, panel. We appreciate it. News, I'm sorry, Steve Mossberg Show. That's next. That's Stay tuned. <laughs>